this week we're talking about the denim dress. Denim, more than any other fabric probably, is as much about a lifestyle and a mood as it is about cotton denim itself. When you think of denim, you think of whether it's Nick Kamen or Bruce Springsteen, there are images that spring to mind that aren't just about what the fabric feels like. And I think that's why the denim dress is kind of in a category of its own this summer. This dress, as an example, is by C by Chloe. And I think this is a really pretty dress and an example of how a denim dress is just different from a different kind of dress. Because if this dress was in a kind of pretty cotton, it would be a bit twee. And having it in denim, or chambray denim in fact, sort of untwees it, if that's not uh, too odd a word. That's the great thing about denim, it's just it is really hard wearing. You can sit on the grass and then if you stay too long you can jump over the fence and it'll still be fine. Um, so I think that's why we love a denim dress and it's just such a nice addition to your wardrobe because in the summer you kind of miss your jeans when it's too hot to wear jeans. Like I think I always end up taking jeans on holiday and then not wearing them because you sort of think you need your jeans and if you have your denim dress it's a kind of in between little comforter for when it's not jeans season. And also there are a lot of nice denim dresses around this season that's why it's quite good to shop for things when they're in fashion. There's a whole kind of hot 70s mum thing going on in fashion at the moment which I'm sure I've like bored you about before and if you look at like Claudia Schiffer on the school run she does that a lot like with a bit of a high-waisted jean and quite big hair and a platform sandal. Stella McCartney does this kind of look a lot in collections that reference her mum it's that kind of look and that's what I think is nice about this dress uh, which is Paul and Joe's sister um, which is not that expensive it's a hundred and something pounds retail 130 pounds I think uh, with this really nice quilting here and gathers at the shoulder and the little Paul and Joe cat face over here. Lots of details which make it actually quite dressy. It's kind of a garden party dress rather than just a sort of kicking around dress. Similar but a bit looser and less fitted if that's more your thing is this one by Surface to Air. That's again I think this kind of that like yellow stitching on the denim it's quite retro. I quite like that and then this one's got those kind of very flat copper rivety buttons. And you could wear that with, like a, I can see that with like a plaited leather belt would look really nice. This is cheating because it isn't actually denim. It's actually tensile, but it looks like denim and it feels like silk. I think it's really lovely. This is Paul and Joe, posh Paul and Joe, not Paul and Joe's sister, so it's a bit more expensive. Um, but very, very pretty and lovely covered buttons and one of those kind of little tie belts which is always quite relaxing because you don't have that kind of what notch are you on feeling. And a good length sleeve because it comes just to the elbow, so you're just showing you know, a little bit of arm and some leg, but it's not too full on. And then we've got some options which are more sort of breezy, beach cover-up, holiday look in a very, very light chambray. This one here. Um, which is just so pretty and kind of innocent and sweet and you can just imagine having such a nice relaxed time and reading your book for hours and end in that dress. That's why I like it. This is Topshop. I think that's really nice as a sort of put on over your bikini kind of dress really. This is Athe which is the Vanessa Bruno diffusion line and it's got this really nice crafty kind of feel here. It's actually sort of smocked under the thread here if you see and again at the back it's fashionable now but it's sort of something that you would would have a place in your life forevermore i think this is all a bit covered up and boring for you then um this one which is very very sweet very girly very sort of saint tropez lastly this isn't actually a dress this is a denim play suit which I think is probably going to be the next thing that happens after the denim dress because I think the stores have probably sold us almost as many pairs of denim shorts as they can. We're all at saturation point with that. Now they've tried this whole denim shirt and a denim dress, the obvious next step is the denim play suit. And since we can do double denim now, you see a denim play suit, which would have sounded a bit stupid, it doesn't sound so stupid anymore. Uh, this is Paul and Joe again, and is, is actually more structured than it looks. It's got a little zip here. It's actually quite fitted around the waist and with a little navy suede belt. 
I mean, I think if you were going to a rather chic, informal wedding, that would be my top pick for this summer. <laughs>